Uh, good afternoon, Steve Roddy here, uh, Director of Marketing for Tensilica Products at, uh, at Cadence Design Systems, part of the Cadence IP group. Uh, we're here at CES uh, with a number of the end products that use our technology. And uh, we have quite a few uh, applications to, to show you, things ranging from simple controllers to high-performance uh, imaging. Augmented reality is uh, demonstrated here by, uh, by JD, who uh, is not trying to catch butterflies. He's actually <laughs> using the, uh, the augmented reality uh, user interface that pops up in his field of vision. Uh, the HoloLens is, uh, is a very uh, cool product announced uh, early this year by Microsoft, and they uh, thankfully disclosed uh, the full details of the architecture of the ASIC that powers uh, the HoloLens. They call it an HPU, or a holographic processing unit. And it's composed primarily of uh, 24 highly specialized uh, tensilica extensor processors built in a, a configuration that is a custom uh, floating point DSP to generate all of the 3D imagery and all the overlays that JD is seeing in real time. So an augmented reality system, uh, unlike uh, virtual reality, augmented reality allows him to see the entire field of view of the world around him. And then in real time, in stereo, takes a video, captures it, renders artificial objects that you can see in the screen behind, and allows him to see it and interact with it naturally without any delay or lag time that would kind of make you nauseous like, like some of the VR headsets do. And in order to meet the, the power constraints to do this, Microsoft had to have something that was incredibly efficient and tailored just to the functional application they were looking for. So they chose extensor processors because they were able to get within the power envelope they wanted and still have a system that runs for several hours on battery. So whether it be a gaming application, as shown behind, or you can imagine industrial applications, uh, applications for uh, uh, guys digging trenches in the street to, to lay down new water pipes and try not to hit the gas main, lots of activities that this could be interesting in.